Hello friends, in today's video I am going to be working outside and I'm going to get my greenhouse cleaned out. I never did plant any kind of fall crop in there. Um, I've just been pretty discouraged with my greenhouse and how things are growing in it. So I'm going to uh, elicit Scott's help to get all the weeds out of that uh, the raised beds in the greenhouse. Then I'm going to put some of that black weed barrier down and then I'm just going to move some of the pots like my strawberry pots, my lavender, um, my chives into the greenhouse and I'm just going to let that black paper or weed barrier stuff sit in there all winter and then next spring I think what I'm going to try to do is just make it into a strawberry garden. Um, my strawberries did really well in a pot this year. I actually even got some strawberries off of it late in the season because strawberries are normally a spring uh, plant and I was getting uh, just a few strawberries up until September. So uh, my strawberries did really well and I want to try my hand at just planting strawberries in there and see what happens. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you the state of things. So this tomato plant, as you can see, we tried bracing it and bracing it and bracing it. The tomato cage broke um, and buckled and the whole thing just fell over, but the, the stalks didn't break. <laughs> so rather than try to set it back up, we just left it. We've gotten several tomatoes off of it. And in fact, here's one that is almost ready. It turns out that these were yellow tomatoes, not red. We thought they were red tomatoes, and the first few that we picked, I picked them when they were yellow. Actually, they fell off in a storm. And so I put them in the house in the windowsill, and I waited for them to turn red, and they didn't turn red, they just rotted. And that's how we figured out that this is actually a yellow tomato plant. Uh, here's my strawberries, and as you can see, Here's a little green strawberry, and there's even some more blossoms. So I'm thinking if I move this into the greenhouse, maybe I'll still get a few strawberries off of it. This tomato plant is done. We didn't get hardly any tomatoes off of it. It was quite the disappointment. Don't really know why it did so bad. It grew fantastically, but it just did not produce hardly anything. And then this is my lavender. I just want to put it in the greenhouse so hopefully it'll come back next year. I probably should have cut it down because now it's just all like super stocky. But uh, maybe I'll, I don't know. I'm just going to put it in there the way it is. I'm not going to trim it or anything. And we'll just see. And then over there is my chive. I'm going to put that in the greenhouse. And then next, um, next year I'm going to transplant it to a bigger pot. This is the state of the inside of my greenhouse. I just basically didn't do a thing with it once the weather got hot. And so, yeah, I gave up on it. Nothing I grew or nothing I planted in here did any good. And so I just gave up on it. And we'll try again next year. Scott's pulling that dead, or that tomato plant that is done. He was pulling it off, and look what was on there. It's a tomato worm. There's his little brother over there. And there's a little one over there. I remember when I was a kid, we'd have to pull those off of the tomato plants. It was gross. It was a gross job. But we'll just leave them. Do they turn into uh, butterflies or caterpillars or anything? I really or, I don't mean, know uh, what moths they do. Or they're a caterpillar, I don't know what they turn into. Probably a beetle. Oh, there's another one. Ew! Ooh, look at that. It's down there. It's so oh, gross. wow, that's a big one. Oh, it? there's one too! Oh my goodness, I'm getting creeped out. There's tons of them. They're all over this thing. See how well they blend in. You don't even see yeah. them. There's two there. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's creeping me out. I didn't even notice them when I was taking the One or two out. was enough, but more than that creeps me out. Oh, <laughs> Anyway, if anyone knows what these, if these caterpillars turn into anything, let me know in the comment section below. We 
I got these two tomatoes off of that plant, the tomato plant that fell over. It looks like they do eventually kind of turn red, but before they turn completely red, they either split or they rot. So I really think that they're supposed to be like this yellow color. ended up doing all of the work because there's really not room in this greenhouse for more than one person and the main reason why I asked him to do it is because I was afraid there might be some snakes <laughs> in this tall grass and I hate snakes they creep me out he's, he's like I got creeped out by those tomato bugs and tomato worms and I I get creeped out by snakes so anyway he did all the the heavy lifting for me you might want to say and made sure there was no creepy crawlies in here so I'm gonna go ahead and put that black fabric down and hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm doing and yes I have on my sleeping pants it's Saturday and I dress up enough during the week <laughs> for work so I just stayed in my leggings today A good carrot. one but it's not quite ripe enough so I'm gonna leave it. It's pretty amazing to me that these things uh, are producing strawberries in October. I'm gonna eat that strawberry that I got in the garden. Mm. You know the strawberries you get out of the store you think they taste good? If you get a strawberry that you've grown yourself and you let it stay on the vine till it's perfectly ripe, nothing tastes better. How do I sound?
So here it is, all winterized. I'm hoping that all of these plants will survive the winter in here. We do have a greenhouse heater. If it gets super duper duper cold, we can put it out here. But uh, maybe we won't need to, because these aren't super fragile plants out here, except for maybe this one. But I just put this in here because it's so pretty and I don't want it to get frosted and it's that time of year where we could get some frost. In fact, we may have already gotten some light frost. Not sure. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was mainly my husband working, not me. Um, there's something about my husband that if he sees me struggling about with something, he will want to take over. And so I've learned in our 26 years of marriage, if it's something that I'd just as soon not do, <laughs> if he asks to take over or decides to take over, I just let him. So he, uh, he did all of that for me. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.